So as we always start with the the word namaste, and now <coughs> Honorable Prime Minister has popularized this word uh, uh, very much. So with a population of the around 1.3 billion, big data holds a significant position in India. To see. So just I want to repeat the phrases of some person, which is Sue Clark, senior CTO, architect at uh, Chengard AS. What is about the AI and machine learning are tools that helps a company analyze its data, modify it quickly and efficiently. Then what could be done by employee? See, this machine learning and AI, these words are interchangeably used. Uh, the machine learning, earlier it was called as AI, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Now we are, people have shifted uh, to, to the word that is machine learning because uh, we are using the algorithm and these algorithms are making the machine very intelligent. Therefore, sometimes people are using the AI, sometimes people are using the machine learning. So both terms broadly come into the same uh, field. So let me introduce you uh, with respect to India, the big data in India, and the source of the big data in India. Uh, that will be useful for uh, the beginners to think about to work in the big data analytics. The Indian government has understood the value of the big data in coming years and has already formulated a big data management policy. It is launched by Controller and Auditor General of India, formerly known as a CAC, uh, responsible for all uh, kind of the audit, uh, audits for government of India. Big data and artificial intelligence. See, I will be using either artificial intelligence or sometime not using the artificial intelligence. There is an echo coming out. I'm I'm listening. I'm getting the echo. Are you also getting the echo? Or there is a delay. There is no issue of. Professor, no issue. Your voice is audible, very much audible. Okay, okay. Sir, it's clear, sir. Okay, now it is clear to me also. Uh, the big data and artificial intelligence are slowly gaining peace to impact the development sector in India. Uh, the Niti Aayog is uh, <coughs> partnering with IBM to develop the model to predict crop years using artificial intelligence. It is one of the, uh, the example. Uh, in which our country, uh, this Niti Aayog, you must be aware of the Niti, Niti Aayog. Earlier it was called as a Yojana Aayog. Now, uh, since the Modi government, the, the almost the, the area is same, but now it is called as a Niti Aayog. So, see, in our country, one of the uh, important tasks is because we are based on the agriculture, our economy is based on the agriculture. So, this big data and artificial intelligence by Niti Aayog has been started with respect to the crop yield using it, uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, NASCOM is another uh, agency. Mm, uh, a trade association for Indian IT business has predicted that the Indian analytical industry will reach the $16 billion value by the year 2025. It is prediction. It may be more than $16 billion uh, also. The way in which the data are generating day by day, even today we are gen generating the data. There are government initiatives and interventions also. Sir? Um, I, I'm getting one window here. You are not able to see it, but uh, that is coming. And that's a reason I'll be able to miss some uh, points. No, sir. We will ask the participants only to ask the questions toward the end of the session, sir. No, 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 not an issue, but uh, only problem is with me. Some small window is coming and which is coming on the slide. No, uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, we are able to view it, sir. No problem, sir. You are able to. Fine. Yes. Okay. 
the niti aayog is currently working on a plans in collaboration with the private players to develop the national data analytics platform which act as a sectoral data for citizen policy makers and researchers there is a big data management policy also drafted by the cag that is the okay. auditor general of india for auditing large chunk of data generated by the public sectors in the states and the unit territories is a great start ministry of statistics and programming uh, program implementation has proposed to establish a national data warehouse on its official website that is official statistics which will leverage technology and uh, use big data analytics tools to improve the quality of macro economy you all knows uh, about the m narega uh, and this uh, very important scheme which serves the uh, society uh, especially so not especially serve the society for the uh, rural uh, rural poor uh, that is already uh, earlier it was known as a narega now it is known as a mahatma gandhi uh, mg uh, narega the use of the direct benefit in <coughs> m narega and aadhar to authentication and availing the welfare scheme benefits help in filtering the ghost beneficiary earlier uh, uh, earlier uh, since it was not uh, attached with the aadhar so the the, uh, the money which should goes directly to the uh, beneficiary was uh, not so efficient i will not use the word that the money 100% money was not going uh, to the pocket of the uh, concerned person so this has benefited uh, direct benefit transfer uh and it has come because of the artificial intelligence and big data the ministry of agriculture has signed the deal with isro to use the satellite for mapping of the agriculture assets all this will generate the the, the data smart city mission digital india digital economy proposed like game app enterprise are also important uh, important government initiative that are using big data for achieving a good governance in our country some data driven projects across sectors such as agriculture banking and demonetization i'm just giving an example uh, which is related with the data driven projects it is some of the example so not uh, there are others also the project insight the indian government has known the projects called project insight in the project 17 to catch tax evaders and nowadays because of the analytics of the data it is easy to get the information about the person who is not paying the tax because using see the government of india has uh, made it compulsory to, to file the IIT, uh, itr by the person who has travel abroad history of this one who who has a car and all these things earlier uh, if we are not able to analytics this one we are not able to get into the uh, tax evasion so now the government of india or it department is able to find out the people who are not filing the itr or even filing the itr but uh, the information in the itr may not be 100% correct therefore uh, this project insight is very uh, important uh, for tax collection point of view agriculture as i already discussed niti aayog has agreement with the ibm to develop a model for crop yield Uh, production water supply the kerala water authority of the government of kerala is using the ibm analytics and uh, mobility solution to analyze monitor and manage water distribution in its capital see all this example encourages to work in the area of the big data analytics and use the artificial intelligence algorithms uh, to get the the required information or the uh, important information especially now in the banking uh, see <clears throat> everything is now al almost people are doing transaction online so the banking the reserve bank of india has made an announcement that it is going to set up an analytics lab for its in house analytics transporter andhra pradesh <clears throat> government is employing a big data analytics to launch a real time 
monitoring system to monitor the performance of each department in its government. Policy. Rajasthan government also signed an agreement with the US-based data warehouse to help them create a common data and analytics platform that can be useful by all government department across the state to collect and utilize those data efficiently. Because we are talking in terms of the Indian scenario, therefore I try to introduce you the projects of the government, uh, different governments, uh, state governments. So now, earlier there were five V's for the big data. Now the five V now it has been eight V's of the big data. I think you must be aware of the number one, the volume. You can find the information you are looking for. That is the volume. Next, the volume is fine, but the value, can you find it when you most needed it? Third, V is veracity. Are you dealing with information or disinformation? The biggest problem with the information right now available on the click of mouse is that whether this is useful for me or it is not useful for me. So the big data helps in analyzing that one. Visualization, can you make a sense at a glance? Does it trigger a decision? That is visualization. Variety. Is a picture worth of thousand words in 70 language? Is your information balanced? So we have a, so much of the variety of the data. Velocity, information gains momentum and price and opportunities, scariest opportunities to all in the real time. Another is a viscosity. And last but not least, there may be another V uh, uh, over the year or the coming, uh, coming years. That is a variety of the data. So just to have an introduction, the, the big data is for a large data set. That is volume, variety, velocity, variability, veracity complexity as i told you earlier there were five there were five views hmm? the complexity to analyze and capture the data store them transfer visualize and manage their <coughs> privacy big data is about massive data volume big data means unstructured data different file format variable arrival rate etc different file size log data collected from the hundreds for distributed servers big data is for social media and sentimental analysis just an idea about the big data types of the big data what are the big data so as i told you earlier the five major views of the big data that is volume Volume means it comes how much data is really relevant to the problem, solution, cost of processing comes into the effect. I have to remove the irrelevant data. So can you really afford to store and process all this data? I think no, we cannot afford. And we cannot afford to process all this data. So if I using the machine learning techniques or some optimization techniques, so I can remove the and irrelevant data for my application. So can you really afford to store and process all this data? Answer is should be a no. Velocity, much data coming in at high speed. It needs for streaming versus block approach to data analytics, to analyze the data. So how much analyzed data in flight and combined data at rest. Next V, that is variety. A small fraction is structures 
formats, relational, XML, etc. A fair amount is semi structure as web logs, etc. All are not structured, so we call some are the semi structured. The rest of the data is unstructured, like text, photograph, and other similar uh, content. So, no single data model can currently handle the diversity. So, this is the biggest challenge <coughs> today for data analytics. Veracity covers terms for accuracy, precision, reliability, integrity. So, what it is that you don't know about the data at all. And the last V is value. How much value is created for each unit of the data, whatever it is. So, what is the contribution of the subset of the data to the problem solution? So, these are the five views. So, in, uh, initially in the headline, I told you this there's some synergy between the big data and AI or machine learning. So, there are, I've just included some content other than the big data analytics. So, just it is just an example why I required the machine learning algorithm for the big data uh, uh, analysis. Uh, just think about the video surveillance in the local community, in our society, for example, in a big society. Uh, about 100 cameras operating 24 into 7, 365 days a year, huge amount of the data. The total 2400 hours of the video footage every day. But think about uh, to analyze this data uh, without uh, machine learning or the data analytics technique. Uh, a team of around 60 persons would require to review this data for suspicious activity. And it may, it may take the days to recognize the suspicious activities by the person, a team of the 60 persons, not possible immediately. But if I have the machine learning technique uh, to analyze the big data, it may reduce it for the hours for, by, a, by a single machine with one person who is analyzing uh, the, what is the machine giving the output. That is simply not worth it economically. This is where artificial intelligence and big data work together. The only way to efficiently deal with huge, such huge amount of the data is to manage it to use AI algorithms. So the solution to analyze the big data is with the AI algorithm. Next, why did AI work so well with big data? Some of these points, there are others, number of points also, uh, some important points. It is because the big data and AI complement each other. You cannot think about existing of the big data without AI or existing of the AI without data. If I have an intelligent, artificial intelligence on machine learning, but I don't have any data, then there is no meaning of uh, AI algorithms. AI become better, the more data is given. See, once we, Go for uh, uh, research uh, for data analytics or use of the uh, intelligent uh, AI algorithm. So we require the data. If data is not available, uh, then we cannot think about. Now, if the data is very less, uh, then the one question comes out, whether the proposed algorithm uh, for a particular application, for example, I'm uh, using it uh, for some prediction or I'm using it some classification, so if the data are very less, then I don't think that this algorithm is efficient because in practical application and real-time application, the data will be will be very more. So AI become better more the data is given to. AI help organization understood their customers a lot better. Today, the companies when they launch any product, do you think that they will launch the product blindly? And do you think that in this day, people will, uh, the company fellow will go search in the market, the people, what the people needs, 
no no only uh, understood their customers through the machine learning having the data uh, and they understood who, who are the customers so what should be the product we should launch uh, for those customers on the other hand big data is simply useless without software to analyze that is correct if i have a data lot number of data and don't have any software to analyze so that is useless for me so human cannot do it efficiently how does ai helps when applied to big data again some of the areas uh, detecting anomalies ai can analyze artificial intelligent data to detect unusual occurrence in the data for example having a network of sensors that have a predefined appropriate range anything outside that range is an anomaly probability of the future outcome how this ai helps in the big data another application the probability of the future outcome using non condition that has certain probability of influencing the future outcome the ai can determine the likelihood of that outcomes and based on this one i can think about having a new product or having a new technology ai can recognize pattern ai can see the pattern that human does not so if i know the pattern i can think about what to do the next so what, what is the pattern of the data and how as a uh, for example uh, uh, i just wanted to go for the the new company the startup so from where to get the idea uh, idea is there but i should find the find out the problem in which i can think about the uh, the product so if i use the big data i have the big data and analyze them and then i can uh, at least think up about the right direction data bars and graphs ai can look for pattern in bars and graphs it might stay undetected by human supervision and similarly many, many more so at the melding of the ai uh, with big data it's very important so data is feed to ai ai become more smarter because of the data if data is not there the artificial intelligent uh, algorithm cannot become smarter less human interaction is needed as ai become smarter fewer people are required for the ai to run so this is a cost effective uh, also ai feed new data to itself and many more how ai gives better insight into data <clears throat> ai is creating new method for analyzing the data every day you will find the Uh, the different uh, method, uh, different algorithm based on the AI, and they are more efficient uh, to the earlier one. So the AI is creating new methods for analyzing the data. Data analysis become less labor intensive. AI helps in reducing the common data problem. That is one of the problem which normally we have in the data for. that is a common data problem for example sometime we click the photo from our camera and when it is a digital so we click click the number of uh, multiple uh, photos and photos are always uh, almost similar therefore i need need not to keep them uh, all the photo in my camera so uh, this ai can uh, uh, help me reduce the common data problem there are uh, apps developed by people that if you run that particular app then you will see there out of the 10 pics which we have uh, the eight are similar so it will keep only one uh, one the uh, one photo 
and other will be automatically related. So this problem, reducing the common data problem can be helped, can be uh, sort out using the machine learning and AI algorithm. This AI algorithms can detect missing values, duplicate records, just I discussed, given an example, sorry, detect outliner values and normalize data. This AI machine learning offers a holistic approach to cleaning and unifying data. Maybe the best solution. The analytics becomes more predictive and prescriptive by using the uh, AI in big data. So <clears throat> the promise of the big data, what are the promise of the big data? So, uh, day by day, we'll, we will add on uh, uh, to this slide. Uh, uh, even more important than it's defined is what big data promises. For example, we are comparing here with this slide, uh, the traditional technique and issues and the big data differentiator. What is the advantage of the big data? Uh, uh, so first in terms of the <clears throat> veracity, in traditional methods, it does not account for the biases, noise and abnormality in the data. But if uh, we use the big data techniques, then the data is stored and mine meaningfully to the problem being analyzed. So the problem of the variety can be solved or simplified using the big data analysis. Keeps data clean and process to keep dirty data from accumulating in your system. So the biggest uh, drawback uh, of the data generated by the people, because some data are not useful, we sometimes call it dirty data. So removing them is a, uh, uh, should be a task of any system. So keeps data clean and process to keep dirty data from accumulating in your system. Even I am finding a problem um, in my WhatsApp. Uh, Sometimes I think about whether to see this photograph or not to see the photograph. And once I click it, uh, obviously it will be part and we forget to uh, clean the uh, the device. So, uh, so sometimes this automatic uh, the, the system is asking for cleaning the device. If you are able to uh, introduce some uh, AI based technique uh, in the big data, so that what time I have spent to look at the picture. If I did not spend a microsecond or millisecond or to look at the picture. I think this is the worst data for me. So my system should automatically remove this one. But if I able to see that uh, I spent 10 seconds or 20 seconds, that means I, I find it is useful, then I will keep that uh, particular data in my system. So uh, this is the open problem in fact. Uh, that can be solved by analyzing the big data and AI uh, algorithms. Velocity. So earlier there was no real time analysis. Now, in real time, the big data <coughs> differentiating, dynamically analyzing data, consistently integrating new information, auto detects unwanted to ensure the optimal storage. So that, that is a, the, the differentiator um, uh, for the big data. But as I told you earlier, the big data is useless if the machine learning algorithms are not used. So big data is a part, partial of the, it's a bit, bit synergy, required the synergy between the machine learning and big data, required the synergy. Uh, then the variety. In traditional techniques, the competitive, competitive issues were there. Advanced analytics struggle with non-numerical data, especially like images and photos, videos, or other texts. Now, in case of the big data, the, the framework accommodates varying data types and data models. 
insightful analysis with very few parameters number of parameters required to analysis you are very few. reduce uh, in case of the big data and think about the variety of the data <clears throat> the volume uh, in traditional techniques uh, the analysis is limited to the small data sets and it is practically it is not possible to analyze the big data set once if you are not using the machine learning or the big data techniques analyzing the large data set is equivalent to the high cost and high memory but in case of the big data scalable for a huge amount of the multi source data facilitation of massive parallel processing low cost <coughs> data storage that we are talking uh, with respect to the volume of the data so from this slide you can think about the types of the data we are generating and there may be others <clears throat> we can add on this slide the number of things so in fact talking about this eight uh, circles if you talk about uh, the one the, the important circle is one or two important circles is it's a data sensor sensor data sense sensor data see like today's uh, uh, in the car you know, uh, which is smarter we call the smarter cars now you, know? so you have the hundreds of the sensors so sensor data is one of the important type of the data uh, examples for the sensor data are from the medical devices smart electric meters car sensors which i just and given an idea road cameras satellite traffic <coughs> recording devices processors found within the vehicle video games cable boxes assembly lines assembly line in the factory like we we have an assembly line for the make a car manufacturing office building which is almost automated the assembly line is al almost automated office building cell towers jet engines air conditions name a few there is a huge amount of the data generated by the social media and you all knows uh, the source of the social media different there are different types of social media in which the people now really normally we the researcher normally take the data from the twitter uh, because you have a variety of the data uh, in the twitter so these are some of the, uh, the source of the social media data Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Google, Instagram, speakers, etc. Media you all know about uh, this one, and dogs also. It's very, it's also important. Uh, every day we are getting the uh, Excel, PDF, CSV, email, Word, PPT, HTML, HTML5, plain text, etc. And then it's a public way, government data, weather data, competitive tariff, regulatory compliance, healthcare services, economic census, public finance, stock, and so on. Archives. So, archive of the scale of the data document statement insurance forms medical records all you must some of you must have gone through uh, these data because uh, sometimes company is required the customers correspondence paper archive print stream files that contains original system of record between organizations and their 
ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಷಿನ್ ಲಾಕ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಸೊ ಇವೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ವರ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಡಿಟ್ ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ರಿಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಏಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಡೇಟಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅನಲೈಸ್ ದಿ ಡೇಟಾ So what are the types of the analytics broadly there are five types one is a descriptive it is a set of the techniques for reviewing and examining the and examine and understand the data and analyze business performance diagnostic it is a set of techniques for determining whether what has happened and why has it has happened and that is very important for uh, uh, the company a predictive a set of techniques that analyze current and historical data to determine what is more likely to happen or not to be happen and so this predictive is very helpful for deciding the new product by the company prescriptive a set of the technique for computationally developing and analyzing alternatives that can becomes course of action either a tactical or a strategy that may discover the unexpected this is you it is a set of techniques for visualizing information and recording course of action to facilitate human risk Uh, decision making when presented to the alternative so mainly these five different types of the analytic techniques are being used in the data analytics the question is why is big data valuable earlier we were, to- we were talking about the data analysis now because the, the, the data as volumes and other things has been increased so we are talking about the big data so why is big data valuable some of this point we can think about the valuability of the big data enhance visibility of relevant information and better transparency to massive amount of the data it improves the reporting or to stakeholders next generation analytics can enable automated decision inventory management for example it's very important automatic decision making inventory management financial risk management sensor data management machinery tuning etc segmentation of population to customize offering and marketing campaign for example consumer goods retail social clinical data exploration for the discovery of new needs can drive organization to find tune for optimal performance and efficiency for example uh, whether my employee is working efficiently or not efficient so employees data can help me to decide about the efficiency of the employee discovery of the trend will leads the organization to form the new business model to adapt by creating new services offering for their customers intermediary companies with big data expertise will provide analytics to third parties uh, this is the way the value of the uh, why the big data is valuable so discovery of trend is very important uh, to set up the new business so third parties are normally doing it analyze so 
there is a, this source of this uh, slide is its content of the graphic created in partnership with tar party that has been this slide has been taken from this one so if you look at this uh, theme of this diagram is uh, big data is equal to transaction plus interaction plus observation so from the bottom if you lo look at the, the data size so we started with the for example we, we started with the the erp and uh, example of the erp is the purchase detail purchase report and payment mode uh, the information available or the the, the, the data size uh, uh, the, the, which can be stored uh, that requires in the megabyte only mm -hmm. then increasing data variety and complexity so we think we, we then go to the uh, <clears throat> next block uh, uh, that is a segmentation it offers the details customers such as support contacts we sometimes it is called as a crm so now the data size has become now it becomes in giga <coughs> gigabytes gigabytes sorry so 10 is for 6 to 10 to 9 then again expanding it then it comes to the web so in web we have the web logs offer system a b testing dynamic pricing affiliated networks search marketing behavior targeting dynamic funnels and others in terms of the web logs and other stuff so again the data size has been increased to terabytes then comes to the big data so in big data now we have the sensors rfid devices mobile web user click stream sentiment analysis new user generating content social interaction and feeds spatial and gps coordinates external demographic business data feeds hd videos audio images speech to text conversion production search logs sms mms all others and others so comes to the big data so now it goes to the <coughs> petabytes so tens for 6 then tens for 9 then tens for 12 then tens for 15 and it is in never ending then tens for 18 then maybe tens for it will be tens for 21 and so on so maybe the name will change in the future also the big data will name will be so so small that the people will think about the changing the name of the big data analytics this slide we can have the idea about the multimedia big data analytics capability think about the capability of the big data analytics so continue increasing in the process capacity has opened the door to range to develop the new algorithms modeling techniques that can produce a valuable insight so we can broadly divide the data into two part structure and analysis structures similarly we can think about emerging and traditional so this slide in fact gives the idea which are the traditional one and which are the emerging one which data are the structured data which data are the unstructured data and the way so we can start with the a b and c testing experiment to find the most effective variation of the website product etc then we can think about the regression discovering re uh, relationship between variables so we can and these will be the structured data so now if you think about the time series analysis remember time series analysis is very very important uh, in case of the uh, prediction especially in the stock market it is all, although it is uh, uh, 
impossible to predict uh, anything but this big data analytics helps in predicting the uh, stock market uh, market using the tari tari time series uh, analysis and there are a number of application of the time series analysis but they are slightly that towards the going towards the unstructured uh, analysis then if you are signal is all uh, random so we think about the signal analysis distinguish between the noise and meaningful information uh, using the traditional methods and in case for example signal analysis if i am using the emerging method then deep qa find answer to the human questions using the artificial intelligence so signal processing i can do uh, and uh, traditionally we are analyzing the signal but now emerging technology we can use the artificial intelligence cluster uh, analysis discover meaningful uh, grouping in the data points a uh, cluster analysis is also one of the important area uh, in the computer science uh, and uh, because you, you have the huge amount of the data uh, and uh, finding the right data we have to go for the uh, making the cluster so that the cluster analysis there are number of cluster algorithms uh, they, they ai based cluster algorithms uh, uh, are being used uh, for and uh, uh, for uh, um, analyzing the unstructured data similarly there is a classification traditionally we were organized data points into no non categories then simulation modeling is also there spatial analysis uh, is also there extract uh, geographical or uh, topological information we have the visualization we have the predictive modeling also uh, we are that is being used uh, uh, the emerging technology is being used in predictive model use data for forecast or uh, in fair behavior complex event processing combine data sources to recognize events sentiment analysis is one of the the, the area of, of the research also good area of the research because people are working on the sentiment analysis and can think about extract consumers relationship based on the social media behavior and this is sentiment analysis also being used nowadays by the police forces or investigating agencies the network algorithms discover meaningful uh, nodes and relationship on networks optimization is also one of the broad area which can be applied in uh, data anal uh, data analytics or for optimal use of the machine learning algorithm for data analytics to improve process or function based on the certain predefined criteria deep qa another uh, the field which is not been uh, saturated which which is not been uh, explored this is a natural language process we have uh, hundreds of of the language why i am calling hundreds of the language not english or hindi you can have the change in the language after every 100 km or 50 km the exact meaningful from uh, human speech for or writing so it's a big data analytic capability with respect to the multimedia we are talking about in this slide and this, this slide indicates forward looking versus the rear view uh, analysis We, we know that big data analysis improves the speed and efficiency which we understand and open up the entire new avenue for preparation of for an adaptive to the future applications so from this slide you can think about the increasing sophisticated of the data and their analytics increasing business values also so if you start with the descriptive analysis so what happens describe summarize analyze historical data all this all will be done by the machine not by human that's the reason 
the big data and machine learning algorithms are playing the important role in every day's working and everyone's life today. Observe behavior or events. Non-traditional data sources such as social listening and web browsing. Diagnostic analysis. Earlier it was the first one is descriptive analysis. Then it is a uh, diagnostic analysis. Why did it happen? Identify course and trend and outcomes, especially in medical field. This is very, very important. Observe behavior or uh, events. Non-traditional data sources such as social listening and web uh, crawling. Statical and uh, regression analysis. And dynamic, uh, dynamic visualization. Then predictive analysis. So we are now forward looking. What could happen? Predict future outcomes based on the past. And how it can happen. Forward looking views of the current and future values. Sentiment scoring. Graph analysis and natural language processing to identify the hidden relationship and other themes. Dual ob objective models. Behavior <coughs> economics. Next, forward looking. Prescriptive analysis. What should be done that is very important? Recommended right or optimal action or decision. Very, very important. Especially for the government agencies. Real time product and service propositions, graph analysis, entity visualization of the data lacks to, to <coughs> infer present customer need rapid evaluation of multiple what if scenarios optimization decision and action the last but not it is not a part of the forward looking it may be uh, next also continuous analysis is very very important how do we adapt to the change monitors decide and act autonomously or semi-autonomously. So monitor results on the continuous basis. Dynamically adjust strategies based on changing environments and improve prediction. There are some big companies uh, who never thought about uh, dynamically adjust strategy. Like you must be aware of uh, uh, the uh, codec. So everybody knows uh, uh, the Kodak company is so famous. Uh, when cameras were not digital, so we have the camera reel. So it is Kodak. But they are not shifted at the time when the people are shifting to digital. And now you know the result. Nobody knows. Even this generation, if you talk about the 15 years old uh, child, have you heard about the name Kodak? And you say, what? What the Kodak? So the continuous analysis is very, very important. And this data analytics using machine learning is the only solution which is helping to the companies. So broadly, the life cycle of the data can be divided into the, uh, these three stages. First, we generate the data, then we store them, and we process them. So mainly this EA is helping you at the third stage, that is data processing. So the now question is, who is generating the big data? Even I am generating the big data by delivering today's lecture. I am delivering the big da da data every time I am putting my, using my phone. So the major source of the big data, you all know, 
we are now most of the people are seeing facebook and some of them are seeing the facebook every half an hour or so 15 minutes and so and every time i open my facebook see the facebook i have the new data new messages then tutors youtube flickers all are come um, in the category of the social media and address so you all knows about this then we are using the science instrument for collecting the all sort of the data you all just i discuss just i, I introduce the big uh, another big source of the data is uh, mobile devices taking all object at all the times sensor technology and networks measuring all kinds of the data it is sensor technology and networks is very very important uh, for the military purpose also and security purpose military purpose and security purpose now the big data of the big data this big data model has been changed so the model has been changed the model of generating consuming data has changed earlier old model few companies are generating data and all other are consuming the data so for example uh, i'm seeing the tv or reading the newspaper and the persons are consuming those data now how it has been changed you can see from the next slide new model so earlier see earlier only the few companies are generating the data now in all of us are generating data and all of us are consuming the data so this is a new model we are also generating and we are also consuming using the cell phone also the second example is we are generating and consuming both the model has changed so expected value from big data analytics so there is a big commercial utilization of this one and big industry for uh, big data so what is expected value how it will come first it will acquire grow and retain customers by analyzing personalization profitability retention acquisition optimization operation reduce frauds global operations infrastructures and asset efficiency fraud security etc maximum insight and improve economy so outcome will be value will, be, will come from harnessing the analysis old data born old data optimize analytical what work, uh, workload spectrum of anal analytics transform business performance so value will generated financial and operational performance financial risk operational risk and create a new business model data driven products and services non traditional partnership mass experimentation the fifth one is gaining very insight so big data impact of the big impact of the big data so we can this slide it shows that evolution that is big, big, big business intelligent and uh, applications 1.0 the model was given for the evolution and the, where we, we have the dbms based structured content so it was the initial evolution uh, the database management system initially so every computer science student or electronics and communication it students are being taught uh, this core course that is dbms or business intelligent analysis 1.0 then the big business uh, intelligent analysis 2.0 came in which the the impact was on the best and structured content then third one was the mobile and sensor based content so it has a big impact on the data and 
so the applications of uh, them are the e-commerce and marketing intelligence, e-governance and policies 2.0, science and technology, smart health and <coughs> well-being, security and public safety, and they are interchangeable. This evolution and application both should have the knowledge of each other. And then emerging research, big data analytics is a, one emerging out of this the evolution. Text analysis, wave analysis, network analysis, mobile analysis, etc. That is the impact of big data in day to day. So, just an example what technology do we have for a multimedia big data? So there are companies who have developed the technologies. So big data landscape can be seen from this slide. Source is also given in this slide. Vertical apps, AW media apps, business intelligence, log data. You can just go through it for a one minute. So that you can have an idea about the technolo uh, technologies or the solution. And you combine some of this uh, landscape, then there is a concept of the cloud uh, also coming to the picture. Cloud computing, what is the need for the cloud computing? Why the cloud computing has developed? So Hadoop is one of the initial uh, techniques which, is, which was used for the big data analytics. Then came Hadoop may reduce and then later, later on. So what are the technologies? You can divide this with respect to the increasing age and maturity, size of the data, And finally, the business objectives. So big data, the moving parts, you can say. That is first Hadoop, then Vertica, MapReduce, Expert, KB. These words may be new for almost uh, some of the uh, and this terminology may be new for uh, almost uh, the new learner. Was not aware of uh, the big data, but some some are very um, well known. Like MATLAB is being used uh, by computer science, electrical, electronics, mechanical. Almost all the STEM uh, students for doing the research. Then SPSS uh, management it is being used in the management. So fast data first is the fast data, then big data analytics, and then deep insight. Use the deep insight. This technology will give the, use the deep insight. And you can think about uh, the, <clears throat> the size of the data. So we are right now, right now, we are talking about the gigabytes. That is 10 to about 21 size. Now, what are the challenges for big data? Challenge number one, the big data models and algorithms. 
what kind of the model i should propose to have a good solution what kind of the algorithm i should propose to have a good solution so the big data models and algorithm foundation models these are the challenges algorithms and programming techniques one algorithm may be useful for a particular a uh, type of the data but the same algorithm will not work in the when the we change the type of the data even for example there are certain a uh, two data set of the images and the type of the data set is different one is the for example satellite image another is the uh, uh, the cam the images directly taken by the camera the same algorithm will not work for uh, uh, for both the images so the challenge is the algorithm and programming techniques analytics and matrices the representation formats for multi media big data the next challenge is the big data architectures every 6 months or every 3 months people are proposing the new architectures some of the challenges in the, in the big data architectures big data as a services should i use this as a services cloud computing technique for the big data big data open platforms big data in mobile and passive computing so what should be the proper architecture for uh, these applications so this is these are the challenges for <clears throat> having a good architecture big data search and mining again which algorithm which is better for searching and mining algorithm and system for a big data search so if i am able to do design algorithm or system for a searching uh, <coughs> applications then the challenge challenge can be over but when the source of the data is been changed then again i have to think about de designing another algorithm therefore the, the computer science uh, engineers are big in demand because uh, whatever somebody has produced it will not be used for the longer time so i i just wanted the new algorithms distributed and peer to peer search algorithms machine learning based on the big data so this one of uh, this only not only the machine learning uh, is a challenging in big data some other uh, challenges are also there visualization analytics for a big data so these are some of the major challenges for the big data analytics this is not a challenge for collecting the data it's challenge for the big data analysis of the big data big data management big data persistence and <coughs> preservation big data quality and provenance control management issues of social network big data another important is big data protection integrity and privacy which will be the good models for uh, models and uh, languages for big data protections privacy preserving big data analytics big data encryptions so in fact those who want to work uh, in the big data analytics do want to go for the research work in the big data analysis can think about what are the challenges these are the challenges and uh, you can decide about to work in the, those area like in one can think about the security so think about the encryptions security application of the big data anonymity detection in the very large scale system collaborative threat detection using big data analytics somebody want to say challenges these are some data preparation is one of the big challenges efficient distributed storage distributed storage and search effective online data analytics effective machine learning techniques so as i told you one machine learning te technique may be useful for a part particular type of data if slightly change in the data is there then i have to think about the new machine learning technique or algorithm <clears throat> efficient handling of the big data streams 
semantic lifting techniques, programming models, social analytics, security and privacy. So we are, right now we have some big data tools which are helping uh, to analyze and to use. And some of them are uh, Hadoop by Apache, which was used for infrastructure and platform. What are the advantages of the, this tool? It's a high scalability, reliability, completeness. Then another name of the tool is Drive. You must have heard the name of the at least Hadoop. Again, the specific is this uh, infrastructure and platform. And it has an advantage over the Hadoop. It is highly high performed distributed executive engine and good program ability. Every model has a uh, tool has an advantage or disadvantage over the other one. You can not design a tool which is which can be used universally. But therefore, there is some specific use uh, for these tools. So these tools are used for some specific application and so on. So other names are you can <coughs> see from this one. And SkyTree server, you must have heard the name of this one, which is based on the machine learning and advanced analytics. <coughs> it processes the massive data sets accurately at high speed. <coughs> Other tools are also listed here in the slide. Yes, sir. So, somebody want to design the big data system, then there are certain principles. Those principles are good architecture and frameworks. Principle number two is support a variety of the analytical model methods. These are the idea to design a new data, a big data system. The must, you must take care about these points. No size fits all, perfectly right. Bring the analysis to the data. Process must be distributed for in-memory com computation, which increase the speed of the system. Data should must be di distributed for in-memory storage. Coordination is needed between processing and so big data for India. What is that? What are the issues? Uh, we have a terrorism. We have a population pollution. Sorry, power, energy, architectures in healthcare, in education, economic poverty, housing sector, job, social media. So just some of just an idea about the big data for India. So it's just a diagram that uh, even a rainfall, uh, we have the different uh, system of the, the different, different uh, time of the rainfall as well as different quantity of the rainfall, uh, rainfall in India itself. So generating the data from the rainfall also. So one of the, uh, the recently, uh, <clears throat> recent, uh, not recent, it is uh, in fact five, almost five years old, five, six years old, Ganga Action Plan, yeah. because we are talking in terms of the, the, the India, with, with respect to India, yeah. geographically, uh, in which we, we have What is the future of the big data? Already we have not work right. Job. Politics also. Uh, 
So, big data. I work in the could be from for practical is and other team is sold so much is not related Now, India and data science that you have. As per the present, What next for the big data? We so data continue human inter. It will always continue and relevant. Although this directly argued is in some more world without air. My body. It's important. We AI system which to make our it needs to provide context and good uh, reports. What is now for data? Nothing changed. It will still not okay.
Yeah, now, now I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear, clear, sir. In fact, that was this, uh, the the second last slide uh, uh, of uh, my presentation. So the, the 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 data is going to be generated day by day. It is now never ending, and we require the manpower, the the knowledge knowledgeable persons for the big data analysis. And the machine learning algorithms are only the the solution to analyze the big data. So that is machine learning and artificial intelligence is a very very important uh, uh, field. Uh, not only in the uh, the problem solving related to the big data, but it is also imp important for other uh, real time application in different. Uh, uh, not only in the engineering applications, in other applications. So AI and machine learning are going to help you in whatever the field you are facing a problem, it may always give you the solution. So it will be par part and parcel of any computer uh, uh, with the research. It is there for the last 10 years, 10, 15 years, machine learning algorithms are there. And hope to see the new machine learning algorithms, new AI te techniques for different applications. So. We can have the questions from the participants. I'm I'm not a uh, I can I'm not I'm not calling me an expert of the big data analytics. Um, so I share the knowledge which I gained uh, and asked to my PhD student also to get the maximum uh, inside the big data. <laughs>